I'm going to show you how you can win one pound of 100% Red Wigglers by all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bells, and drop a comment down below what your favorite food for your worms are. And when we hit 2,000 subscribers, we'll do a, a raffle of the people who've commented and do a video announcing the winner. So thank you guys for that. And now we'll move on to the favorite foods. And number one, well, we'll start at number 10 is going to be bananas. And bananas are a great fruit that they're pretty cheap too. And every time you eat them, there's going to be a shell that you can put into your worm bin and also you know there's a lot of videos where bananas can be turned into a fertilizer for your plants if you soak it in water for so many hours and I don't know if that's true but I have tried it and plants were still going after that so I don't know on the how good that works but anyway that's a good tip on bananas but we like to make worm tea, and uh, so we don't really mess with the bananas. We would rather feed the bananas to the worms than converting it into a form of casting from the worm that we can then put out into the garden. Coming in hot with number nine, it's going to be peaches. Now, we don't usually give our worms peaches because we usually eat them before they get there because we buy the peaches fresh and they might get the, the peel a little bit and what's left on the seed we'll toss into the worm bin and usually you don't ever see nothing but the seed later on. So, and if you had... Let's say you had a can of peaches that you didn't really want to eat because canned peaches ain't all that good anyway. Worms would love to eat that can of peaches <laughs> that's put back in your uh, pantry. Coming in easy with number eight. This one's going to be <laughs> chili dogs. And one of my favorites, especially chili cheese dog with fries. Y'all already know that's a good one. But if you only got a pound of worms be easy with that because you're going to mess up your worms with the bread and the meat combo with the cheese that's like a triple no on what they actually want to eat but if it was just one bite of hot dogs with chili cheese and fry maybe some jalapenos you could get by with it a small amount but just keep in mind the worms are going to run away from it like Who's this person throwing uh, stuff we don't like to eat in here? Anyway, you should check out <laughs> Worst Foods for Worms. We get into the stuff you shouldn't do. This is going to be stuff you can absolutely do. And it'll be a good time for the worms. So, so falling gently into number eight, we're going to go with leaves. And this can be a great boost for your worm bedding and I actually have a leaf right there. So now I kind of got mixed feelings about leaves. They get in there and I don't know, they don't really go for them at first. So you might be looking at a two, three month process to get a leaf decomposed in there, but you know, it is a free resource that you can use. Um, just go easy with it at first and uh don't fill your bin up completely with leaves that might uh might dry out quick or who knows so it's coming in sweet and tangy with number seven is going to be pineapples now not your regular granny smith apple this is a pineapple kind of like under the sea but we're going to put them under the worm bin and so you know, you get that pineapple from the store, cut the core out. You could then throw that core into the worm bin for a nice slow release into the compost pile. I mean the worm castings. 
So, you know, other than that, the uh, the top where the leaves were, you can throw it in the worm bin like you seen earlier, or you could try to plant it and grow it. But it's not going to grow in the worm bin because it has to have sunlight to grow. So coming in fresh, salty, and crunchy straight from the ocean, like a can of tuna, but it's not. <laughs> oyster shell. An oyster shell is a great thing to add to your worm bedding, especially on initial setup to balance that pH and put in some good calcium for your worms. And I do believe it's one of the reasons why our worms look so good is because of the oyster shell flower. And we do sell it on the website at an affordable price to get along with your worms and your other accessories. So we'll move on to number five. And we're going to come in smooth as butter. And it's cold as ice with smoothies. And you can get you... Now, we've done a few smoothies already on this channel with pumpkin. And it was gone within a day. And they had the time of their life with it. So we'll move on to the tip of the day. Which is going to be the smoothies. And if you're struggling to get your worm bins going and producing castings and your worms are climbing all over the place, escaping the bin. So the smoothie is gonna be the difference in like us drinking a smoothie versus cooking a whole meal. You know, they'll be able to slurp it down quick, whereas it'd take a while to put the whole fruit in. You know, your worms really enjoy it too because let's just say you throw a whole banana in there, you know, it's gonna sit for maybe three, four days until the worms are ready to eat it so but if you put a smoothie in there you know they're gonna eat it within a day so coming in with number four there's nothing like a nice hot summer day and getting you some cucumber and slicing it up and putting a little Italian dressing on it with some salt and pepper too good but you know, if some for some reason you didn't eat the cucumbers, which my worms, I don't know if they've had many cucumbers, but maybe some of them that I didn't want, they got. And, you know, they were gone within maybe two, three days. So it's about like a smoothie. You know, cucumbers have a lot of water content on them, and the worms love the moisture, so... That would be a great one to throw in there and not really worry about something going wrong with. Coming in, slice straight off the cutting board. We're going to go with uh, kitchen scraps that you cut up um, after a good meal. You, know, you might have a few potato scraps, um, a few cucumber and anything like that that's going to be great to feed your worms instead of throwing in the whole vegetable or fruit in if it's already sliced up that's going to give the worms easy access to the juicy gooey goodness on the inside and they'll be gone before you know it it's coming in hot off the brewer that's going to be coffee grounds now i have mentioned that they might not be so good in prior videos for your worms but in moderation let's just say a cup of coffee's worth of coffee grinds for a pound of worms would be about perfect and they're kind of like us to where if we If we drink a cup of coffee, we're going to get more done and be more productive, focused, and alert throughout the day. And my hypothesis is, and this is my own opinion, that 
the worms get somewhat of the same effect that we do off the coffee and they're more active and up top and eating more and just being a better worm in general so I do think it's a good thing in moderation now speaking of coffee I don't know if I would put your liquid coffee scraps into the worm bin because I've heard they're acidic and I've never actually you know put liquid coffee into the worm bins so you have to do your own research on that one a little bit and then so we'll move on to my favorite foods to feed the worms and that's going to be worm chow and we do sell our worm chow but the worm chow makes sure that if we were light on food scraps and we went out and ate out a lot or at a restaurant or something that they still have food and they're not doing without because once they run out of food then they eat mostly just their bedding and then after that they just kind of eat their own castings so you your worm bin will be in better shape and you'll have your worms reproducing faster and your worms will throw more cocoons and just the whole process will be better if you use worm chow in your bin. So with all that being said, I would like to thank all the customers we've had on our website. You guys are legends and thank you for supporting a U.S. small business so I do think now is a great time to order some worms, especially if you've been looking around on YouTube or Google and trying to make sure you got some good worms versus what you got the first time or if you're somebody brand new. Um, my worms are looking great right now and it's perfect temperatures to ship, but we do ship year round, no worries there. and. We've shipped out many a pounds with no um, bad shipments and no bad reviews. So I do think you'd be doing yourself a favor and us a favor if you ordered from us and greatly appreciate it. And also I'm, I'm here seven days a week. If you got any questions or problems, with your order or getting your bin set up I'm more than happy to walk you through each step of the way to make sure your worms are successful and you're successful small batch handcrafted company that's producing some of the highest quality worms uh, that I've ever seen and that I think is out there so the proofs right there with the cocoons and with the worms and I'd just really like to thank all y'all for the support and for helping us out. So if you guys are new to vermicomposting, um, we do like to ask everyone to set their bins up at least a week or two in advance before ordering that way. The soil life is set up in the worm bin, and that way when the worms go in, it's not a sterile environment, and they uh, try to escape and move on to greener pastures, basically. So get your worm bin set up, and then you're ready to get you some red wigglers off our website, and you guys are legends. For making it this far in the video and I want to encourage you guys if you're still on the border about red wigglers that you know I've been doing this a while and there's there nothing else compares to the quality of the dirt and the worm castings that they produce to then help out your garden or you know your trees to then produce more yield and to do it in a natural way that 
instead of hurting the environment to grow some food, it actually helps keep food from going into the landfill, which, in my opinion, you know, you can't ask for much more than that out of somebody. So with all that being said, I have sent out a bunch of worm orders recently. Please let me know how they shipped and how they're working out for you down below. Thank you. Legends.